Okay, in this video we will look at the form of Arianism of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society using the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures and the book What Does the Bible Really Teach, which is what Jehovah's Witnesses use in their Bible studies uh, for pr prospective converts in teaching what they believe. Uh, we'll go to chapter 4, which is Who is Jesus Christ, beginning on page 37. But we will go to page 41 of that chapter to cite specifically uh, the heart of the issue uh, for them. Where did Jesus come from? And we'll go to chap uh, to this uh, second um, uh, paragraph, which looks like it's in verse section. So we'll go to verse 11 um, and in reading. Jesus is Jehovah's most precious Son, and for good reason. He is called the firstborn of all creation, for He was God's first creation. Colossians 1.15 There is something else that makes His Son special. He is the only begotten Son. John 3.16 This means that Jesus is the only one directly created by God. Jesus is also the only one whom God used when He created all other things. Colossians 1.16 Then too, Jesus is called... The word, John 1, 14, this tells us that he spoke for God, no doubt delivering messages and instructions to the Father's other sons, both spirit and human. So here we, we see that it cites, um, uh, he created all other things, and it cites Colossians 1, 16. Now, in order to get this to be supported by scripture, they formed a... Uh, translation of the Bible of their own in which they dishonestly altered the scriptures and their meaning by inserting words that are not in the original languages. So when we come here in the New World Translation to Colossians 1.15 through 17, uh, we'll find that it's dishonest here. In order to force verse 15 to mean that Christ is created by God that the firstborn of all creation means that he's God's first creation uh, verses 16 and 17 have had the word other inserted into them four times against the original Greek so I'll go ahead and read these he is the image of the invisible God the firstborn of all creation because by means of him all other things were created in the heavens and upon the earth, and the things visible and the things invisible, no matter whether they are thrones or lordships or governments or authorities, all other things have uh, uh, been uh, created through him and for him. Also he is before all other things, and by means of him all other things were made to exist. Now the the uninspired uh, word other has been inserted here not to clarify what these passages are saying but to alter their meaning and just to give you a little warning about this Bible just to look at the forward real quick to let you know that the Watchtower Bible Tract Society is dishonest we'll read the the first and second paragraph of the forward it is uh, very it is a very responsible thing uh, to translate the Holy Scriptures from the original languages of Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek into modern speech. Translating the Holy Scriptures means rendering into another language the thoughts and saying of Jehovah God, the heavenly author of the sacred library of 66 books. The holy men of long ago were inspired to write down for our benefit uh, today. That is a very sobering thought. The translators of this work uh, who fear and love the divine author of the Holy Scriptures, uh, feel toward him a special responsibility to transmit his thoughts and declarations as accurately as possible. They also feel a responsibility toward the searching readers who depend upon a translation of the inspired word of the Most High God for their everlasting salvation. We'll go ahead and continue into the third paragraph here. Um, It was with such a sense of solemn responsibility that over the course of many years this committee of dedicated men have produced the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. 
Now, when we re when we examine the forward, these first uh, two paragraphs and the first part of the third paragraph, we know that this is dishonest, that it's a lie, um, that the translators of this work <clears throat> do not fear and love the divine author of the Holy Scriptures because they deliberately altered the Scriptures to force their theology on them. And if you notice, it talks about this committee of dedicated men have produced the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. Well, they haven't voluntarily divulged who those were. And the reason for that is to avoid responsibility. Which is the opposite of how this third paragraph begins. It was with such a sense of solemn responsibility. Now, I want to explain also that this is not an attack against Jehovah's Witnesses. This is merely a um, a uh, exposure an exposing of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Jehovah's Witnesses are very good and sincere people and uh, deserve to be treated with care, respect, and kindness they are they have been subject to the deception of these what the bible calls ravenous wolves uh in sheep's clothing so this is just exposing the watchtower bible and tract society it is nothing against jehovah's witnesses in fact my intentions with this video is to help both um, christians who follow the gospel of jesus christ but also to enable them to help lead uh deceive Jehovah's Witnesses to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this is a form of Arianism, and in a sense it's a spontaneous form because it is not even influenced by the historical uh, uh, heresy arising from Arius himself. This one kind of forms on its own, resulting from Adventism um, that skewed into the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. So, I wanted to make a statement that I will continue to make in future videos, which is the, ab the absence of historical heresy can lead to heresy. It, it is important that we uh, don't um, remain ignorant of heresies or we leave a vacuum to be filled, possibly to be filled with uh, heresies. Um, either spontaneously or by the influence of heresies that have existed in the past.